Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT Royal YouTube channel. Prince Harry wants return to role as head of Royal Marines, despite Royal Exit. An ex-Invictus Games soldier has reportedly claimed that Prince Harry has expressed a desire to return to his ceremonial role as the head of the Royal Marines, despite stepping down as a senior royal. Prince Harry has reportedly said he wants to keep his position as the ceremonial head of the Royal Marines. A former Invictus Games soldier claims the Duke of Sussex told him he'd like to return. Harry stepped down as a senior royal at the start of the year and had to officially leave his military roles. But the unnamed ex, soldier said, We spoke about the games, I was very respectful, and did not ask him anything about his new life or anything. He simply said he misses his role with the Marines and would like one day to return to the appointment. Harry has reportedly been granted a review period, which may mean he could possibly return to military positions next year. He is still technically Captain General of the Royal Marines, according to the Ministry of Defence. The chat took place shortly after lockdown. Another source added, Harry was a breath of fresh air, the lads could relate to him and he was a very popular figure who took a keen interest in his job. When he packed it in, it was a shock. Harry had been made Captain General of the Royal Marines in 2017, after first joining the army in 2005. Harry and wife Meghan Markle dramatically stepped down as Sydney Royals at the start of the year. They moved to Los Angeles via Canada with baby Archie, where it is understood the Duchess of Sussex will continue to pursue her acting ambitions. However, so far they have been forced inside due to the coronavirus pandemic. In other news, Prince Harry reveals he is very proud of Centerville's work in a joint statement with co-founder Prince Ciso, as the duo say they are personally committed to playing an active role in the charity. Prince Harry has revealed he is very proud of his work with Centerville as he reinforced his dedication to the charity he co-founded 13 years ago. The Duke of Sussex, who is currently isolating, shared a joint statement with co-founder Prince Ciso about the organisation as it released its annual report. In the letter, the duo said they personally remained committed to play an active role in the life of Centerbell and to supporting its work long into the future. Despite stepping back from royal life at the end of March, the Duke has been committed to continue to work with his patronages and charities like Centerbell which supports youngsters with HIV. In the founding patrons forward of the annual report, Prince Harry and Prince Ciso said the charity had gone from strength to strength and they remained very proud of all that has been achieved. It went on to reinforce the royal's dedication to ending HIV. Prince Harry Company founded the charity Centre Brow, meaning Forget Me Not, with Prince Ciso in 2006 to improve prospects for the thousands of children and young people affected by HIV, AIDS in the landlocked African country. It has since delivered adolescent, friendly HIV testing and counselling services to more than 21,000 people. Harry first visited Lesotho in 2004, while shadowed by broadcaster Tom Bradby. He and Prince Ciso have since appeared at numerous events together, including a concert held at Kensington Palace in 2016, on behalf of Santa Bale. Another analysis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's tell, all book title, Finding Freedom, could cause serious harm. Royal fans are waiting with bated breath for the August release of Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's tell, all book, Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan, and the making of a modern royal family. The book is being released by two prominent journalists who promised they were given unique access and that it was written with the participation of those closest to the couple. But as of right now, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not endorsed the book, and it's unclear how they feel about its publication. Now one royal expert is speculating that it could cause a deeper rift in Harry's relationship with his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, based on the title alone. The title, Finding Freedom, implies Prince Harry and Meghan Markle needed to escape. When Harry and Meghan announced that they were stepping down as senior royals and creating unique new roles for themselves within the monarchy, it was not meant to be a permanent split. The couple stressed how they would continue to support Her Majesty the Queen 
and even hoped to retain many of their responsibilities and titles post Mexit. Their departure has been a little trickier than they imagined, but to imply they had to escape the monarchy could sour the relationship even more. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams explained, What this book has the potential to do is cause further serious harm. The interesting aspect of this book is that if you write a book called Finding Freedom, that means if you find freedom from something. You have to find freedom from something. Something you clearly didn't like and something you felt incarcerated in. He's predicting that the book could cause a bigger rift once it's published because of that. No one knows if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were involved in the tale. All but could there's a good chance the authors scored interviews with some of Prince Harry and Meghan's friends. That's far from the same thing as first. Person interviews with the couple themselves. And if the Duke of Duchess of Sussex didn't contribute to the book, then the Queen won't condemn them for it, probably. Fitzwilliams said, As far as I know, they are distancing themselves. But it is perfectly well known that the two journalists involved, particularly Omid Scobby, act so to speak like an unofficial spokesperson for the duo. But the thing is every aspect of this book. Every phrase will be picked apart to see what it says about various controversies and rumours which have beset their unhappy, as it turned out, two years of senior working members of the royal family. For now, Prince Harry's relationship with Queen Elizabeth is strong. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex plan to try out their separation from the royal family for one year, at which point they are going to reevaluate what they want to do. All reports claim Prince Harry is on good terms with his grandmother and that she would welcome him back with open arms. Royal followers are hoping this tell. All Buck doesn't sour the already strained relationship between Prince Harry, Meghan, and the rest of the royals. We'll have to wait until August to find out. Another report. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could be eyeing up a move to New York City as people are used to celebrities and people of status living there, and they won't be bothered, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex live in Los Angeles with their son Archie. The couple moved to Tinseltown at the end of March, hours before Canada announced its decision to close the U.S. border. Suits actress Meghan and her husband bolted to North America shortly after they publicly announced their decision to step back as senior members of the royal family. It has been reported that Meghan wanted to be closer to her mother Doria Ragland and friends, while Harry wanted a peaceful life separate to that from the monarchy. Since the move, Meghan and Harry have been locked up in their multi-million dollar home due to the coronavirus pandemic. Royal author Tom Quinn spoke about the couple's move to the U.S. in the documentary Harry and Meghan, two troubled years that aired in the U.K. on Saturday, May 23rd. Mr. Quinn said he thinks Prince Harry will be a lost soul in the year. S and the experience will be far worse for Harry in America than Meghan in England. Princess Diana's biographer Andrew Morton told the Sunday Times he disagreed with the claims and Prince Harry will be flavor of the year. Mr. Morton said people will want to see them and know them, and added Prince Harry and Meghan will fit right in with the billionaires and millionaires of the U.S. He also hinted at a move for the royal couple, who he is sure will breakfast in New York and dine in Los Angeles, reiterating the likelihood of Prince Harry and Meghan spending time in New York, Brittany Barger, a royal central, told LMT Royal Channel the pair are likely to spend time in the Big Apple once lockdown restrictions are over. She said, if the Sussexes decided to leave California, I think they would more likely to go somewhere like New York City. The Big Apple and the people are used to celebrities and people of status living there, so they aren't going to be too bothered if they are there. Several in Hollywood are making the move to Nashville as it's more laid back and the paparazzi aren't there, but I don't see that for Harry and Meghan. It's a great city, but I don't think it would be on the radar for the Sussexes. I think the most likely is New York, if they were to make a move. Please support Growing LMT Royal Channel by subscribe channel. Like and share videos are. Your support is the motivation for our to produce better videos. Don't stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.